from a key performance indicator point of view, you would have noticed that our revenue has decreased by 6%, but we've had a 13% saving in our direct expenditure. So even though, even though our EBITDA decreased by 12%, I will show you on the next slide what the impact of those once-off costs have been on our results. We've managed to hold our gross margin steady despite the one-off costs, so our margins continue to stabilize through the six-month period. Network site registration costs were 247 million rand, which are included in there. We also had an impairment of over 5 billion rand on our network assets. Recapitalization costs were just north of 100 million, and our restructuring costs, which in the main were retrenchment costs, were approximately 64 million rand. If we look at it on a normalized basis, i.e. if we take out the once-off costs that are included in the results, so the 6% drop in our service revenue um, compared to the first same period of 2019 translates into a 64% improvement in our EBITDA for the first six months. And this is primarily due to direct cost savings as well as savings in overheads. And this is a continuation of what Douglas mentioned earlier in terms of our turnaround strategy and our focus on operational rationalization. Total revenue has dropped. Uh, we've had a, 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 a strategy of re removing profitable or non-profitable customers off our network. So you'll see there that that's resulted in a drop in 6% in our revenue. But similarly, as I mentioned earlier, the operational rationalization has resulted in a gross margin increase with, from 47% in H1 of 2019 to 50% in H1 of 2020. Of particular importance for everyone to understand is our cash EBITDA has increased from 93 million rand in the first six months of last year to 511 million rand of the first six months of this year. And I will show you later that for us, this is not an income statement problem that we have in our business. We have a balance sheet problem with too much of debt. And that's what the recap is hoping to address. You will also notice our depreciation and amortization and impairment the five billion that sits in there together with depreciation, that relates to our network assets as a result of phase two.